Last time we talked about giving a bad review, but how should you handle receiving one? In your career, you'll be lucky if you don't get at least one bad review. In many ways, it doesn't matter if it was deserved or not. It's how you handle it that matters. And whether it was deserved or not, you need to handle it the same way. So there are three steps before the review, during and after the review. Okay, what should you do before the review? Well, you'll probably find that it's never a total surprise when you're getting a bad review because you've probably been getting signals from your boss. An example will be them repeating something you haven't done or getting on your case about something. And if they are, they're probably trying to send you a signal. And you should prepare for receiving those signals again in your annual review. And typically what I suggest you do is you think about what your boss might say to you. What are the words they would use? What would be the issues they would bring up? Don't spend too much time thinking of clever retorts or smart ass comments. Focus on not being too surprised and understand where a bad review might come from. Okay, what do you do during the bad review? Well, first of all, don't be surprised and keep your cool. Don't, don't be so shocked because that will send the message that you haven't been receiving their signals. And as I said, keep cool. Listen carefully to what your boss is saying. And if you don't understand, ask them questions. You need to get specifics of what you've done wrong and where you could have done better. Ask for examples of behavior, what they've seen, what they liked, what they didn't like. Whatever you do, don't get angry or upset. By the way, if you do get angry or upset, ask for time to compose yourselves and, and come back in a couple of minutes. You'll probably find your boss is finding this as difficult as you are, and they'll probably be pleased for the break as well. Okay, what do you do after the bad review? Well, we all get annoyed at bad reviews or unfair comments, but you really have two choices. You learn from it and try harder, or you walk away. Now, you might want to fight this, and lots of people say, well, I'm gonna fight a review. You gotta ask yourself whether that's really a practical thing to do and what message that sends to you. If it really was a very unfair review, and then you know, you gotta ask yourself, is this the place I wanna be anyway? But at the end of the day, whatever you do, don't rush it into anything. Next time, you know, we're gonna talk about what you might want to do to resign, but just don't resign, don't get emotional, think this through, okay? If you choose to stay in your, that job after a bad review that was either fair or unfair, then you need to show that you've learned from that bad review. Here's what I would do when I get a bad review or a bad comment. I go home, I be angry, I throw some toys out the pram, and then I come in the next day ready to do better and ready to show that I've learned from that experience. Finally, ask your boss for regular reviews to help improve your performance. They'll probably be very pleased to find this way to connect with you. Well, the bottom line here is we all get bad reviews. Responding to them the right way can give you the opportunity to accelerate your career if you manage it properly. 